the next project. Uh, nope. 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 The shot does not disappoint. I think we got it. All right, here's your next and final challenge. You're going to be building a catapult. If we're going to build something, it has to be a little more destructive. So here's your next challenge. You're going to be building a catapult using wood, rope, paper clip, uh, elastics, nuts and bolts a little bit, and some other small things that will be provided. And you have to fire a fire marble at 10 feet. Okay, that sounds a little boring. Okay, I get that part. So, we're also going to put plates in front of it to make sure if you do hit something, at least you'll make a big bang. Now, let's go over the rules here. Number one, your catapult can only use the provided supplies, and that's about it. Okay, so anything in the box, fair game. Other stuff can be agreed upon, but let's try not to go there. The catapult must have a trigger. What that means is... Your marble must be carried under load with your hands coming off the catapult for then for you to pull, push, untie a rope, something of that nature. Okay? So, rule three, must fire at least 10 feet. All right? Really simple rules, and that's about it. Step number one. You're going to want to make sure you do your research because this is one of those projects, the more research you have, the better your results are going to be. Because, let's be honest, there's been catapults and other devices like this all throughout history. And there's a reason there's certain designs that keep popping up. So, step number two. Once you pick the type of catapult you're going to be using, you're going to have to do a rough sketch. Now, you can choose at this point either isometric or orthographic. I'll leave that to you, depending on what you as the builder design. And then, let's get a rough drawing so you understand what to do. Step three. You're going to be building a cardboard model. Now, this cardboard model does not have to fire. Okay, let me be very clear on that. This model is mainly to make sure, as it, it will be one-to-one -one scale or life-size, basically, this is the right size, is to make sure that you have all the materials you need because if this catapult is too big, too small, sometimes it's easier to see it right in front of you in cardboard, you know, cheap, easy to work with, and easy to make change. Okay, now that you've gone through your drawing, cardboard models in front of you, it's so kind of your last chance. Use the cardboard as a test to make sure you can use all the wood and to prevent mistakes so we don't waste a lot of material. If you make a mistake, you have to fix it and move forward with what you've got. So, step four, you've done your drawing. You've done your cardboard. Now, let's get building. Now, this video, we're not gonna have every step here. There'll be other lessons and links further on, but as this is just your design spec, step four, you've done your drawing. You've done your cardboard. Now, let's get building. Now, this video, we're not gonna have every step here. There'll be other lessons and links further on, but as this is just your design spec, that's it. It's time for you to build your own catapult. Things to keep in mind. During this build process, you are going to be given, albeit a decent, but not the biggest testing window in the world. So you want to make sure you use your time very wisely to make sure that you get everything done. And that's just a very important part of this. Okay. You know, the better time management you have, the better results, you get the idea. That's it. It's time for you to build your own catapult and good luck.